Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 265. That is, what is confidence testing? Let me answer. So confidence testing is nothing but smoke testing guys, okay? The other name for smoke testing is confidence testing. Both are same, okay? So when a developer gives a build or software for you for testing, before going for the in-depth or in-detail testing, we perform smoke testing or confidence testing, okay? Which is also called as smoke testing is also known as confidence testing, where we test the major, important, critical functionalities of the software and that too at a high level. Only few test cases of this major, important, critical functionalities of the software we are going to test. And that too in less time, guys, we should not be taking more than 15 to 30 minutes based on the type or complexity of the application, okay? So just to get the confidence on the build, whether we can proceed for further testing or not, we perform confidence testing, which is otherwise known as smoke testing also, guys. So after performing confidence testing, that is smoke testing, we either accept the build or reject the build back to the developers. When we accept the build, when these major important critical functionalities, which are tested at a high level, okay, that is with less number of test cases in major important critical functionalities are working fine, okay? then we can decide to proceed for the further in-depth or in-detail testing. Then the software testing team will accept the build given by the developers. When we reject the build, if in this major important critical functionalities which are tested at a high level and positive way has any defect, in that case, it's not a good idea to proceed for the further in-depth testing. There, we are going to reject the build. For example, the login functionality, okay? If you give valid credentials, you are not able to log in. That means a major important critical functionality of the software, which is tested at a very positive and high level is not working fine. So for that particular login functionality, we have to report a defect and we have to send an email back to the developer saying rejecting the build. Okay, hi developer. Okay, we have performed this uh, confidence testing that is smoke testing or whatever the name you want to specify in that email. And uh, while performing testing, we come across a defect in the major important critical functionality when we have tested at a high level and positive level, okay? Hence, we are rejecting the build and we don't suggest for a in-depth testing on this particular build. We'll be waiting for the next build to pass the smoke testing or confidence testing. Like that, we have to send an email to the developers, okay? That is what is confidence testing. So hope guys, you understood what is confidence testing in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.